We have another chance for a solar storm from some coming fast solar wind. And our sun celebrates the new year with a bright new region. Those stories and more in the Shorty this week. Happy New Year, everyone. The sun is definitely celebrating the new year. We've hardly had a chance to come down from the last solar storm, and we've already got another coronal hole that is about to rotate into the Earth's strike zone and send us another chance for more storming. Now, this time, this coronal hole is a little bit strangely shaped. It looks kind of like a triangle, so it's going to be sending us some sporadic fast wind, but nonetheless, it could be enough to bump us up to storm conditions, especially at high latitudes, and keep us busy over the course of this week, possibly give us some sporadic shows even at mid-latitude, so we've definitely got to stay on our toes. But that's not all. We also have a brand new region that is emerging on the Earth-facing disk. This active region, 2732, it's even firing off a few mini flares, this happy little bugger. And it's also boosting the solar flux back up and well into the marginal range for radio propagation. So amateur radio operators and shortwave responders, hey, we've got some decent propagation on Earth's day side for a change, and it looks like this could continue easily over the next few days. Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are anticipating the hit from the fast wind from that kind of triangularly shaped coronal hole. Now this is going to be sending us some irregular bursts of fast wind. It's not going to be one steady burst. So we have a little bit of a spread in what we think we're going to see. At high latitudes, no one's expecting active to even minor storm conditions with up to a 65% chance of a major storm. Now mid-latitudes, we're only expecting up to about active conditions, but we do have a 30% chance of a minor storm. But please be aware, Aurora Field reporters, if you guys are at mid-latitudes, most likely these conditions won't last all that long, or they'll last and then they'll disappear and then they'll come back again. So please stay on your toes if you really want to get those shots at mid-latitudes, because they really are going to be sporadic. But we could be chasing this easily throughout the first week, and possibly even into the weekend before things begin to calm down. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, we do have a new active region on the Earth-facing sun right now. This is region 2732, and it is even firing off a few little mini solar flares, but no big ones. So everything is in the green when it comes to big flares and radio blackouts. We have no risk of that. The one thing this region is doing, though, it is boosting the solar flux back up into the balmy mid-70s. I mean, it's almost like a summer day compared to the chill of the solar flux we've been feeling during this solar minimum. So amateur radio operators and, and shortwave responders enjoy this marginal radio propagation it easily over the course of this week before this region rotates to the sun's backside. But we do have a new region that will be rotating into Earth view, and that could pick up the slack and keep that solar flux up into the marginal range. Not too bad for our first week in uh, 2019, huh? Now, just because we have that decent so uh, solar flux going does not mean we're not in solar minimum right now. We are, and unfortunately, that does mean the cosmic ray penetration is higher than it would normally be. So you frequent flyers, and this does include the air crew who fly more than uh, 800 hours annually and fly at high latitudes and high altitudes. You are in the moderate risk for radiation dose, and this does include prenatal passage so please take this into consideration in your flight plans. So the space weather this week is celebrating the new year just as we are. We've hardly come down from one solar storm and we're just about to get hit by another. We have some fast wind coming from kind of a triangular shaped coronal hole that is going to be giving us some sporadic bursts, but it could bring aurora down to mid latitudes for a short while. And even at high latitudes, we could be seeing aurora chances easily in through the weekend. So your aurora photographers definitely stay on your toes. Now, amateur to radio operators and shortwave responders, you guys should also be extremely happy this week because we have a bright new region that has emerged on the Earth-facing sun, and it has boosted the solar flux back into the mid-70s. And this means we're well into the marginal range for radio propagation on Earth's day side. So enjoy that day side propagation. You might have some issues on Earth's night side when the solar storm hits, but the day side should look pretty good. 
Now, as far as GPS users are concerned, well, your day side uh, reception should be pretty good with the GPS signals. And on the night side, well, as long as you stay away from the Dawn Dust Terminators and from Aurora, you should be looking pretty good. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.